Today's topic is collision theory of chemical reactions and this theory was proposed by Max Tortz and William Lewis. This theory is based on the kinetic theory of gases. In this theory, the reacting particles are considered to be hard spheres. They are considered to be hard spheres like this. According to this theory, a chemical reaction will take place only when the reactant molecules collide with each other. But as you all know, all the collisions does not lead to product formation. Only those collision between the reactant molecule which are effective will lead to the product formation. For the collision to be effective, the necessary condition is the reactant molecule must possess a minimum energy called as threshold energy and those molecule which possess this threshold energy are called activated molecules and when these activated molecules collide with each other then the collision will become effective and that will lead to the product formation. Next, the rate of a chemical reaction depends on the number of reactant molecules that are colliding per second per unit volume of a reaction mixture. If more and more and more reactant molecules colloid per second per unit volume, then the rate of a reaction will increase. But when millions of millions of reactant molecules colloid per second, it may not lead to the product formation. Because as you all know, the collision will become effective only if the reactant molecule poses the necessary energy that is required for effective collisions. So the rate of a reaction, it depends on two factors. One is the number of reactant molecules that is colloiding per second per unit volume of a reaction mixture. And also it depends on the number of molecules that possess the necessary energy that is required for effective collisions. So based on this, for a very simple elementary reaction like this, where A plus B gives product, the rate of a reaction can be written as rate is equal to ZAB into E to the power minus EA by RT where ZAB is called as the collision frequency. So collision frequency is the number of collisions per second per unit volume of a reaction mixture. Once again I will repeat collision frequency is the number of collisions per second per unit volume of a reaction mixture and this term you know this is called as the Boltzmann factor and also it represents the fraction of molecules having energy greater than or equal to activation energy. So only those molecules which are having an energy equal to or more than activation energy when they colloid the reaction will take place. So these are the two factors which, de which decides the rate of a reaction. This equation holds good only when the reaction involves atoms or simple molecules. However, a significant deviation is observed when the reaction involves complex molecules. When the reaction involves complex molecules, the reacting molecules in addition being activated during the time of collision, they must have a proper orientation. I have mentioned about the energy factor and orientation factor in my last class right so now let us try to understand this what is this orientation factor so whenever a chemical reaction involves a complex molecules if they have that necessary energy called threshold energy and if they get activated and if they colloid they may not lead to the product formation so along with this during the time of collision they must have a proper orientation so let us try to understand this by taking an example. For this reaction to take place, as you all know, first these two reactant molecules must collide each other. But you know all the collision does not lead to product formation. So only effective collisions, that is only those molecules which possess an energy equal to or more than activation energy, when they collide, they lead to the product formation. So we know this. Now, let us assume that these are the two reactant molecules and let us assume that they have energy equal to or more than activation energy and they will collide. 
now let us see whether on collision they will give the product so the collision between these two reactant molecules can take place in many ways they may approach like this and they may colloid and they may they might bounce back they may not lead to the product formation or they may colloid like this or they may colloid this way or they may colloid like this so these are the all the possible ways in which the reactant molecules must collide but when the reaction involves the complex molecules as i mentioned along with the molecules being activated they must have proper orientation only when these reactant molecules having an energy equal to or more than activation energy when they collide with proper orientation they lead to the bond formation or else they just bounce back now if this reactant molecule approach like this and if they collide they might bounce back they may not lead to the product formation but when these reactant molecules when they collide with proper orientation like these when they collide like these with this proper orientation then bond formation will take place between the two reactant molecule and this will lead to the product formation so in this example for the bond to take place between carbon and oxygen atom of no2 molecule the carbon atom must collide with the oxygen atom and only when they collide like this then we call this as the proper orientation and this will lead to the product formation but if the molecule if they collide in a different style nitrogen if it collides with carbon it may just bounce back they may not lead to the product formation or the oxygen atom of carbon monoxide when it collided with oxygen atom of no2 they may not lead to the product formation so only when they collide with proper orientation they will lead to the product formation improper orientation in case of improper orientation the reactant molecules they just they will just bounce back they may not lead to the product formation so according to collision theory first condition is that the reactant molecules must have a minimum energy called the threshold energy and second thing is that they must have proper orientation so when the reaction involves the complex molecules then the rate of the reaction can be written as p into z a b into e to the power minus e a by r t that is a new factor called the orientation factor or probability factor or steric factor p must be introduced in the equation because if you consider only those reactant molecules which are colliding per second per unit volume that may not determine the rate of a reaction right so along with the molecules having energy equal to or more than activation energy and along with the molecules colliding per second per unit volume the proper orientation the molecules that are colliding with proper orientation will determine the rate of the reaction this we can understand by taking a simple example for example in the year 2021 let us assume that 10 lakh students are admitted to class 12th and at the end of the year all these 10 lakh students may not be eligible to take up the final exam because many of them due to attendance shortage may get disqualified or many of them might discontinue in between and many of them due to many other issues they may not be able to take the exams now if 10 lakh reactant molecules if they collide all these 10 lakh reactant molecules which are colliding may not lead to the product formation just like if all if 10 lakh students are admitted to class 12 all the 10 lakh students may not be eligible to take up the exams out of 10 lakh students due to many reasons let us assume that 50% of these are not eligible to take exams only 50% the remaining 50% are eligible that is 5 lakh students are eligible to take exams so in this case zab represents 10 lakh out of 10 lakh how many are eligible only 50% that is 5 lakh are eligible to take exams out of this 5 lakh who will take exams will all these 5 lakh students will pass no so only those reactant molecule which is having an energy equal to or more than activation energy when they collide with proper orientation they will lead to the product formation right so the final result depends on three factors one is the number of students that are admitted to class 12 out of that 
how many are eligible to take exams and out of that those who have prepared very well they will get through the examinations similarly here if 10 lakh reactant molecules if they colloid all the 10 lakh reactant molecules may not give the product so only those reactant molecules which colloid with proper orientation will lead to the product formation but even then all these reactant molecules which are colloiding with proper orientation they may not give the product only those reactant molecule which is having an energy equal to or more than activation energy when they colloid with proper orientation they will lead to the product formation so according to collision theory a chemical reaction will take place only when the reactant molecules having an energy equal to or more than activation energy when they colloid with proper orientation okay this is the end of this chapter in the next class we will be solving some of the questions related to CET and NEET exams